This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That Sega Master System controller can only mean one thing. We're going to be playing the Sega Master System. Get ready. Episode of Memory Lane. We're gonna be playing uh, Transpot for the Sega Master System. Let's uh, zoom out here and give a little idea of what we're playing. We got Transpot. Uh, Transpot is a card Sega card game for the Sega Master System, as you can see there. And uh, you have the little card right there. And uh, this appears to be some sort of shooter. And uh, the Sega Master System. Boxes are uneventful, nothing really fancy. You got the uh, Trance Spot Sega card thing right there. Let's see if we can see that right there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Nothing really fancy here. You got the Sega logo right there, Trance Spot right there on top, and Sega card. All right, let's see if we can get this to work. There is no manual, unfortunately. That would have been nice. We do have a brief uh, description of what this game is about right here. And a couple of screenshots. Let's look at the screenshots. It's a little bit more fun to look at than the description. And it does appear to be like a shoot 'em up type deal. Now, this game was definitely, uh, I believe it was called something else in Japan. Probably a lot more popular in Japan. This is what the card looks like. Let's hold it exactly how they would hold it right here. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can match that up right there. There we go. Look, look at that. That is it right there. So that's the card. That's what it looks like. You have the transpire. You have the little robot right there in the front. He's uh, holding his arm out. He looks like a, like a mech Gundam type looking thing. And uh, you have the little contacts right here. You got the Sega logo right there. And on the back of these cards it says, Sega card for use with Sega system only. Caution, avoid exposing card to extreme temperatures, excessive humidity, or direct sunlight. It says, uh, be careful not to bend card or scratch surface of card. For protection, when card is not being used, place card in a uh, protective plastic case. Now these cards came with a little small case that went inside here. I don't have that, so the only thing that I currently have is pretty much that, and that's what it does. So we're gonna play some trance bots. Uh, let's head over to the Sega Master System. And uh, let's play some Transpots. We're gonna put our Transpots card right into here. And let's play some Transpots on the Master System. All right, here we are playing the Sega Master System. One of my favorite all-time great gaming consoles right here. We got Transpot. And this is one of those weird gaming cards, the Sega cards. Let's uh, do a little demonstration of what this game looks like here. Look at this. It's like a, 
like a shooter. Got yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Oh, look at this. Looks crazy. Crazy shooting action. You got like a little tank right there in the bottom. Got all these crazy balls flying around over the way. Oh, he turned into like a bot. Now, I think in over in Japan, this is actually a different game altogether. It has a different title. Uh, of course, the Japanese version is probably more cooler. Let's, uh, let's check this out. We got Trance Bot. Alright, let's uh, see how this plays out. Make sure we gotta dodge the uh, those red balls They're flying around over. Oh my god, look at that. So you fly around and uh, try not to get hit by these balls. And they look like they have spikes. And we got that thing right there. What, 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 oh. Now we got some more crazier looking things here. They look, they look like they have red eyes. What, what is that? Now the Sega Master System, uh, for me it was like a... It was an 8-bit console, but it almost played a trick. Like it almost looks like a 16-bit almost. I think that's one reason why it lasted so long, and, and I guess it still exists today and down in Brazil. So it's definitely a really cool looking gaming console. I and mean, look at the uh, these square looking things right here. They're spinning. I actually never played Transpots before. This is actually uh Oh I got hit by what what the hell was that? I was trying to get that truck on the bottom. You got the nice little detail in the back. It looks like a like a power plant, like a Chernobyl type thing. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, these balls are getting a little bit more crazier now. Let's see if we can, uh... Yeah. I mean, shooter games are pretty... Whoa, what? These look like fish. Oh, no, those are, like, little space shuttle things with fire coming out. In the end, I, I can definitely see that. Some pretty good detail. This game has actually some pretty good graphics for a master system. Alright, let's uh, take this out. Now, the Japanese version of this game, I believe, has a different title. I, off the top of my head, I don't know what it is. But I, kn I do know that it's a different title. It might be some sort of anime type thing or some crazy stuff. We got this thing right here. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can make it to the end of this stage. Okay, you got a little scoreboard up there on top. I got like 14,000. And we're using the real shoulder right here. So, oh man, that truck always distracts me. And uh, when I try to hit it, I end up being blown up by these uh, red balls. With spikes, or whatever the hell you want to call these things. I probably in the manual it tells you exactly what it is. I don't know. Oh, 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 look at these things. Oh, you can switch weapons. I didn't know that. So apparently, there's different weapons you can do. I had no idea you could do that. And uh, that is at the end, right there, and that's transfer. Let's see if there's any other like little demonstrations right here. That was actually a pretty fun game. And uh, it's a really unique cartridge type thing. It's, it's a card. So there's a handful of cards released for the Master System. Probably more than a handful, just quite a bit. And it's interesting how these games actually work off a card. And there's the one level right there. You got the... Uh, this game came out in 86, so it's one of the earlier Master System games. We got Transpots. I have the highest score right there, 19,000. And it seems like it's showing the same exact demo over and over again. Let's see if that's the case. We'll wait till the next one. So this is a nice little basic shooter. We got the, uh, the truck right there on the bottom. And I believe that gives you more special abilities. And what the hell? How do you do that? And here's like a huge mech warrior looking thing. Alright, let's see uh, what happens next here.
All right, so the demo's the same thing over again, so let's give it a try one more time. Knowing that we can definitely switch up weapons and stuff. Let's... Right now, that's the only thing that we do have. And this is your starter weapon. It's definitely not quite effective. It's okay, it gets the shot done. I mean, the nice thing is that enemy doesn't really shoot you. And this guy shoots you, so you have to be careful with that. Let's see if it, this game's actually pretty fun. I will definitely put this in, like, in the top favorite Master System games. It's actually pretty fun. I mean, it's challenging I'm, at the moment, not that good at it, but uh, it's definitely pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, get somewhere. You can see the, uh, the power plants in the background, as mentioned before. It, it almost looks like they're... They're, they're destroyed or something like there's definitely uh, some leaning towers right there in the back and I don't know what, what that what's up with that but all right let's uh there's definitely a story to the game and that's where we uh, got screwed up before because uh every time I try to hit those trucks I get hit by and, and oh that enemy got me what the hell Alright, so right now we're at 14,000. Let's see if we can get further. We're at 15,000. I think my high score is 19,000, so... Oh, oh, oh my god! Damn. So that, that is it. That's, uh... Transpot. That is actually a pretty fun shooter game. It's not bad. Uh, definitely, uh... Pretty interesting, good little simple shooter on the Master System. I think it's actually pretty fun. And there's a, once again, it appears to play the same demonstration over and over again, so that's that. But yeah, if you want something, if it's not too expensive, I would probably recommend picking it up. It seems like Master System games keep going up in price. I don't know what the deal is. But I, I do notice that Master System games are really expensive. I Like this to get one, one game is like, between fifteen to twenty dollars is back in the day you can probably pick one up for four or five dollars. Now what the hell's going on here? Uh, but yeah that is uh Transpot on the Sega Master System. Pretty fun.